morning. Today is a very, very important day for me personally because today we are doing some production work out of the studio. I cannot tell you what it is. Will not tell you what it is until uh, it happens, but just know that it's gonna be super cool. I'm super proud of the fact that if you build it, look, when I told Kevin Costner to say this line in A Field of Dreams, the 1969 movie, I'm kidding, I made that shit up, but firm believer, if you build it, they will come. And I built the studio, and guess what? Yeah. They came. Sorry about that. Anyway, as I was saying, um, the I wish I could tell you what it is, and I and I hate I hate videos that I hate videos that leave like oh it's a secret you won't see it. But literally, if I could tell you what it was, I would. You know, but I ain't no snitch. Never have been. Never will be. You know. So if they say don't say shit, guess what? I'm not gonna say shit. Um, anyway, I need to go pick up Seth, and it is. Nine o'clock. I need to wake him up because he is part of this thing. Oh, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm all good. It's another day. Another day. This is how I get. This is how I get ready for streaming. Oh, Super Bowl. All right, do it again. Do it again. One more, one more. Yeah, we gotta be realistic. Come on. We we played the black up. I'm. All right. Moving. We're flying in. All right, ready. Place the way more. Yeah. Ready, ready. <laughs> it is literally behind the scenes right now because it tell, tell me we're not behind the actual scene all right so today so today what we're doing is a a production we're not gonna say exactly what it is because it's a musical we, we're doing a musical a musical Mm -hmm. Right, we're doing a musical and it goes live sometime next week, which is super super dope. Uh, today's gonna be a busy day. Nate Chad is still sleeping because for some reason he went to bed like at two. For some reason, you know, some people want it and others just don't. Mm -hmm. That is an example. Of How many times did he try to sabotage it? yesterday though? Here, roll that clip where he tried. Wait, the amount of times that Matt came up to me with some sort of gin and whatever he was mixing while I'm scrimming his yeah. team yeah. was actually absurd. Yeah. I know. I told him, don't do it. Seth's gonna get mad. And then when you're like, oh. <laughs> there's a time where it's like, yeah. just go, just be, go be professional, yeah. Matt. These new young, young owners in the scene. These new yeah. young entrepreneur CEOs. He's no, we're, we're, we're kidding. Cool. Obviously, it's all bad. I'm not. Oh, yeah. You inhaled that. Seth, of course I did. I, I, what the first thing I told you I wanted today was a, a, a bagel with cream cheese. When I found a bagel with cream cheese, I literally ate it a minute and a half. I don't have anything. <laughs> I didn't think there would be anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other guy's going to be on the other side. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Or can we turn it Probably just uh, plug it. Yeah, I could real if I got you at this place. Why not? That's what I'm saying. If you, <laughs> if you build it, they will come. And they came. All right, and. So that's just um, So production day. This is the first production that we have. It's like the first real production that we have in the, in the studio. I'm just glad that I was able to facilitate this. Again, it's 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 the theory, which I told Kevin Costner to say in the movie Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. Saw me. So Matt, tell. Or point the camera at Matt, and Matt is gonna tell everybody where we're going because apparently he doesn't trust me, and the only people he trusts are the people in the comment section. Oh, I've been here and before. The, yeah, and the people in the comment section uh, say that Rudy's is fire. I've so. been to here before. Yes, of course you have. Don't attack. Don't patronize me. Matt, how was it? What's up? How Cut. was Rudy's? Man's best pulled pork I've ever had. Swear to God. Say, why don't you just listen to me from here on out? You think I got this body well, physique you, by not eating? Because you say a I eat the finest of things. You want to know why I don't listen to you most of the time? It's because you say a lot of dumb shit. But I still love you. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of dumb shit. But not not dumber but, shit than you. But, so. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Hey, he said it was questionable. Yeah, he was talking so, about you. No, you guys both say some pretty dumb shit. I mean, did you hear what you just said in the car? I won't repeat it. <laughs> don't repeat it. I'm waiting for the day. My Caught that? Hey man, Jesus, Jack. Can't just th this, Jack. Be more careful with your stuff. Oh shit. 
Hey there, Maddie. Yo, be honest though. Okay, so you like you like Rudy's and all that. Aside from that, for real, do you like the space that you're in right now? And are you having fun? Of course, absolutely. How much fun? Time. Okay, lay, okay, lay fun or huh? On a scale from I love it to LA, where are you at? What's in the? I'm probably. Well, that's tough. That's a tough question. I'm having a. How about I, this? If you can move, if you can move all the people that you know in LA. To downtown Dallas, how dope would this place be? What if I can move all of you guys to LA? No. I can't do that? Not even in a hypothetical I couldn't do that? No, dude. It's, I, I would move you guys all the way out to LA. Yeah, I would choose to go to LA. Why? I like Dallas, but I like LA better. What's What What about LA? Do you like that you don't like the, or the, the weather, the atmosphere, the environment, the things to do, the nightlife, the beautiful, 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 beautiful earth around you. It's all flat here, cloudy skies. It's like cloudy skies? It's like 120 degrees in the summer. Bro, LA, it's 75 degrees year round. You got mountains and hills to hike. Obviously, as you guys know, Seth has been streaming out of here and he's hit so many, so many, so many like amazing benchmarks in his uh, in his you know historic three <laughs> three week career that uh, we've actually done a lot of uh, a lot of giveaways thanks to the sponsors that the sponsor right um, in this case Maddie and I are or Maddie is putting everything together to ship everything out and we are trying to get everything categorized so what we need now is four mix amps and usually the mix amps are kept up here. You know, it's crazy. Embos said that I took a picture of him already, but I don't see him up here. So, sorry. I know ADD. I'm over the place. Where would they be? In here? Stickers. Oh, shit. Right here. Never mind. Anyway, so, uh, mix amps is what we need. All right, so I got this in the mail today, and I know who it is and who it's from, but I don't know what it is. Let me rephrase that. I don't know what it is, I know who it's from, but I don't know what it is. So I'm kind of psyched to open this up. I'm doing a, an unboxing review. I got a little bit confused because it came in a Prime box and it's not from Prime, so. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is from a company called Prime Society. Matt, are you familiar with Prime Society? Yeah. You are? What do you think? They make their leather bags? Yeah. Yeah. They sent me some. It's a gift. They sent something off Amazon? No, nah, it's a gift for you, from me. Because we're in, we're in gifting modes. Ready? Boom! You wear, these, these are the ones you wear around your neck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's actually a good leather. Prime Society Innovative Lifestyle. And a shoulder bag. These are called satchels. Satchels like Indiana Jones used to wear in Temples of Doom. There you go. Nope. There you go, Matt. Can... You're welcome. I got you in red because it's 100 Thieves. Well, this was mine. But well, you can wear the one too, I guess. And I could just keep... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and they sent a wallet for all the cards. Look at that. Bro, if I've ever seen anybody swagged out like that, I'd probably be like, yo, don't him. I wonder what kind of, there you go, oh, hold up, let me clear it. Yo, this shit's dope. Thanks, Prime Society, you guys are cool. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, Prime Society. Um, I'm probably gonna give this to like Jude or someone, cause I, I can't wear, I can't. Satchel, no satchel. Actually, pause it right here, Matt. Watch this, Matt, tell me if this is cool. Are you ready? Yeah. Zoom in on that. See, this one I would wear because this is true to my culture. You know, catch me like this in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have like ones and a couple of, couple of chips. Anyway, no, all jokes aside, uh, thank you very much, Prime Society. I appreciate you. As the, as the, as the night begins to wind down, we have a lot of things going on tonight. Tonight we're gonna we're gonna go hang out with Maddie. We got an entire group of people hanging out tonight to celebrate the happiness, the the joy, the the excitement that is Matthew. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog right here, everybody. Tomorrow's gonna be a super dope day because tomorrow we film the 6050 eavesdrop podcast. Me, Nade, Seth, Will Timer. Uh, Merck couldn't make it. I did hit him up to see if, uh, if he could come out, but he had uh, college friends coming to visit him. Um, and, you know, just timing didn't work out, but I am planning on definitely uh, having him out at some point or another so we can do it right. Anyway, now, having said that, boys and girls, and with that said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, hopefully as usual, and as per usual, at the same damn time.